Hello everyone, I'm just going to have a play around and have a go at making one of these hidden paper clips with double sided tuck. So the back has a little belly band where you can tuck something and the front has this little pocket that you can tuck something in and there's a little bit of a dangle on the hidden paper clip. So I just experimented and came up with my own recipe for this. So I'm starting off with a couple of images from the kit that I really like. I think these would be really nice as the front and the back. Sorry about the glare. And so what I've done is I've cut a strip that's a quarter of an inch wider than my image. So my image here with the little extra wobbly bits on the end is about two and a quarter. So I want an extra quarter of an inch than that. So I want to cut my strip at two and a half. There's two, two and a half. So that will give me the width that I want. And then for my height, I want to double the image height and add one and a quarter inches. So my image height is, we'll call it two. So I want to double that to make that four and add one and a quarter. So I want that to be five and a quarter. Okay, so that's my piece to fit my image. The next thing I want to do is score. So I just want to score for the, where's my sample gone? For this little front tuck. So this front tuck you can see is three quarters of an inch. So I'm just going to score this at three quarters of an inch. Is my scoring um, scoring tool? So I want that at three quarters of an inch, and I'm going to fold that up and burnish it. So that's going to be my front tuck pocket. Then I just want to flip this down into the halfway mark and fold that and burnish it that as straight as you can. That's the outside of the paper clip. That's where the hidden part's going to go. That's your front tuck. The next thing I want to do is I want to cut a scrap that's narrower and narrower than the width of this and fold that in half for my paper clip. So for me I've just found a bit of scrap paper it's narrower. I've folded it in half and that's going to fit inside. It's not too long either and that's where my paper clip is going to go. And so that will be the hidden paper clip. So you can just play around with your measurements for that. Now I need, the next thing I need to do is for this little band on the front, I need to cut a little narrow scrap. Um, at a, mine is about half an inch wide and I want that to be one and a half inches longer than the height of my paper clip. So my paper clip here is two and a quarter so I need another one and a half inches so three and three quarters and I want that in the same um, material as my base so I want three and three quarters just by a narrow strip. Uh, what have I got here? Let me see, that would be better. So three and three quarters by about half an inch. is going to be the band that wraps around 
um, and you're just going to need to have a bit on the, the length that's going to tuck over the top um, and as well as the bottom so you don't have to be exact on this what I tend to do is I'll make a, a slit so that this can actually go through the top and then I'll fold it up to the bottom and trim it so you just want to find the center of your inside of your paper clip so there's my tuck pocket I'm opening it up this one is the center is about is it two and a half so one and a quarter that's my center point there if you can see that and then I need a slit that's going to be wide enough to take this clip in so I'm just going to draw roughly where I'm going to cut the slit so that you can see there so I'm just going to get a blade and just cut that open and then you're going to pop this skinny strip in through the top there so you can see that it's poking through the top there and then you just want to be able to fold that down a little bit and then the same with this bottom edge you want to fold that up so that on the other side it's nice and tight and then just trim that off so I'm just going to trim that off with enough and I'm just going to glue that down the little tabs down and that just holds in place that little belly band on the front of the pocket so I'll glue both of those down Now, if you're wanting to add a string, this is the stage where you do that. Lost my paper clip. Where did you go? I was here just a second ago. It is here. So now you've got your little strip that you folded in half with your paper clip on it. So before you glue anything in place, if you're wanting to put string on this, poke that through the little hole in the top as well. And I've just sort of pulled the paper clip half off. And this is where you can tie on your little bit of lace or string, which is also gone walkabout. Don't know it. I need a bit here. So just tie that on now while you've got that little chance to do that which I don't like it sitting that way what if we poke it through if we fold it in half and poke it through that might sit also that's better okay and then push that back down in and then when you open that up just push your paper clip card snug up against that and that's going to be ready to glue I'm just leaving this flap I haven't glued that yet because you want to decorate it and it's easier if that's not glued so we're just going to put glue on both sides just of this inside cardboard piece I'm just using art glitter glue, but you could use double-sided tape. Just want to try and make sure you get all the way to the edges. And particularly down the bottom, because that's the bit that you don't want to have grabbing when you are trying to slide something in and out of it. So just glue that bit down and put some pressure on to hold that. You don't always have to start with the image first. You can make them any size you like and decorate them later. I'm just making this to fit the image that I've got. And then open it up and glue the other side. Again, just try and get all the way to the bottom. And if you're worried about that 
glue running over, you can always just slide a bit of scrap in under it. Just so that that doesn't glue itself closed. So that's your base done. Now for me, for my images, I want to put this one on the front and I can either have the pocket coming up and covering it or I can slice the image off and have it, which I think I might do. So what I'll do is I'll flip it over so that I can see exactly where I want the image to be placed. And then I'm just going to bit back. I'm just going to use this as a ruler for where I want to slice that image. So I'm just going to cut that image along that line. And I'm going to glue the bottom half onto the flap. And I'm just going to butt that right up to the very top of that lip. And get in the way. So it's butted right up to the very top of that lip. And then this image is going to glue right up to, so you can barely see that it's been cut. to line everything up and once I'm happy with that placement then I'm going to glue these two sides to close that little tuck off So that's the front part done. And then the back image, I probably should have put this on first, but that will slide under there with a bit of encouragement. Where's my folder? Let me just. Okay. So that's going to be glued onto there. So handy hint, don't do what I did. Glue the back image on before you put the little belly band on. But this is nice and firm, it will just slip in. There we go. So that's the base of it done and then you can just find uh, something small that will go in there on my desk. Um, so I'm just going to slide a little image into that side and then to make one of the, this has just got a little envelope sample you can just make a little envelope that will slip into the back so there's that one and then this was the the other one so they're fun and easy um, great for scraps and you can decorate them any way you like thanks i hope you enjoyed that